In this video, I will explain the practical uses of weighted percentage. For example, you are going to hire employee. You have a certain skill and you have assigned a weight percentage. Now a list of employee you call for interview and you rate them from 1 to 5. And the goal is very simple. We need to calculate the weighted percentage and based on it, we need to take decision which person we need to hire. If you want, I will show you how to create this simple graph as well, which simply highlight those people which are above our specific weight percentage. Which formula we use to calculate the weight percentage, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this blank data sheet. We have a list of skills, we define a weight percentage. The first thing, we need to select all of these cells. Simply click on data, data validation, list, and we need to simply define, let's say from 0 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You can define whatever the rating criteria you have. Simply hit OK and now we need to select let's say some random values. Now I simply type a rating from 0 to 5. The next thing we need to apply a sum product to calculate a weighted percentage. I will click for the name 1 and simply type sum product function. Open parenthesis. Now for the array 1, I will select the weight percentage column. Hit F4 key to log the reference. Hit comma. And for the array 2, I will select the name 1 entire column. But we need to divide these results by the max rating. So in this case, we have the maximum rating is 5. So I will divide this whole result by 5. Now simply close parenthesis, hit enter and this is how we calculate a weight percentage. And now simply drag this formula till the end of your data set. Of course, I already applied the conditional formatting but you can easily apply, simply select this entire row, click on home, conditional formatting, highlight rule, whenever the value is greater than and simply define whatever criteria you want. Now if you want to create a simple column chart, I will do calculation on a bottom area. You can do this calculation on a separate worksheet as well. I will click here and simply type transpose function. Open parenthesis. For the array, we need to select all of the name first. Hit enter. Again type transpose function. In this case, I will select all of the weighted percentage, hit enter. Now I will select and convert this into a percentage format. Now we need to use if condition to get only the percentage which are greater than or equal to 75%. I will click here and simply type if condition, open parenthesis. If this value is greater than or equal to 75% you can see any value hit comma then I want this value hit comma otherwise I want a null value close parenthesis hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of data set. Now I will select all of my three columns click on insert recommended chart and I will select the first column chart and simply hit OK. For now, we don't need the series. Simply click and hit delete key. I will increase the width a little bit more. Click any of the column, right click, format data series. For the series overlap, I will set 100%. And for the gap width, I will set let's say around 22%. To make it look much better, I will select outside and now simply select this blue bar, click on format and select the same fill color as per my background. Now of course you can do a little bit more formatting but this is a very simple step to show you 
how to highlight only those names for which the percentage is greater than our set weighted percentage. 